even as a little boy, I was in love with books. Fortunately, I grew up in an environment, you know, where there were books all over the place. Um, when I was born, my father was a teacher, uh, a high school teacher. But a few years later, he became a lawyer. Um, but um, be besides that, you know, he, uh, he, he was a great reader himself. So I was introduced to, to, to the classics quite early in, in life. Um, I loved to read. But um, I also fell in love with storytelling, you know. Uh, when, for instance, we would visit my grandmother uh, in the village in the Eastern Cape, then, of course, I would um, hear the stories that were told, especially in the evenings when we sat around the fire. So, I was influenced by both traditions then, you know, the oral tradition um, of my people, but also the literary tradition, mostly the classics, you know, uh, the English classics. Um, so, I think that's what influenced me uh, 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 most. My journey as a writer actually started when I was about seven years old or so. I would write, you know, little poems, uh, short stories and so on. I was first published at the age of 13, a closer short story titled Ingumbo Yeminyanya, which um, was published in a magazine that no longer exists now called Wamba. So that was my first venture into the world of writing and um, getting published. And that's the only short story that I ever wrote. Because after that, then I wrote plays. I became a playwright for many years. I only started writing novels um, in 1991, I think. Um, after a long career as a playwright as, and as an academic who taught theater at universities in Lesotho, in America. Um, so, the novel for me in 1991 was a new um, adventure uh, altogether.